Hey, what up, man? So, um, uh, hey, man. First off, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to me. You know what I mean? The big three eight today. You know what I mean? It's been it's been a been a long journey. <laughs> you know, shout out to all my almost old fellas out there. Shout out to some of my Scorpios. You know what I mean? But uh, let's just go ahead and hop into it, man. Listen. Um, when until you offend, bro. All right. When to the point that you offend, and uh, you know it's 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 crazy how like the little things people say or whatnot, what have you. know, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You know stuff like that. How true to life that really is, man. You know, and, uh, you know sometimes jealousy and envy is a, a great measurement of, of of who you are and what you're accomplish accomplishing. You know, in comparison to other people. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's, if you consider this bragging, nigga, it is what it is. Cut it off. I, I don't give a damn. It's me, goddamn, celebrating me. Like I said, I love me, all right? And uh, just saying recently, you know, um, I didn't even think birthdays and stuff were a big thing, bro. But, uh, you know, you can't really value yourself if, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you don't put importance on, you know, milestones. It's, it's just being here for, you know, another, um, you know, revolution around the sun man all right so i used to have be the biggest haters of two individuals black men at that right and uh the reason why is because basically i was a loser i was in a losing position you know as a kid i couldn't stand michael jordan bro i hated michael jordan you know why because i couldn't get any jordan shoes you know my mom uh wasn't making the amount of money and even she was making the amount of money she just refused to buy me in a Jordan shoe, right? So I hated Michael Jordan. Why? Because I couldn't have um, something that was a status symbol and due to, you know, no fault of his, but being because I couldn't get what I wanted out of the situation, I had this hate for Michael Jordan. Whoever, uh, I'll never forget, uh, the biggest uh, time to like on my of my hatership <laughs> would have been, I think, what, the 90... 93 Bulls when they went up against uh, Phoenix Suns, right? So, yeah, it was the uh, Lakers, Blazers, then Phoenix. Yeah. So the year he went up against uh, Phoenix was, um, you know, like the, the the precipice of the begin real beginning stages of my Jordan hate. You know, because again, you know, you, I was probably about around the third or fourth grade, and the third or fourth grade, that's when stuff like that really starts mattering, right? And then um, again, as an adult. Floyd Mayweather, man. I hated Floyd Mayweather. Could not stand him. This little cocky ass dude that just thinks he's this and that and all these other things, what not, what have you. Simply why? Because he just could not lose. Dude always find a way to win. He was a master of his craft. Uh, you know, arguably, if not, you know, the best boxer ever, you know, by the numbers. Um, statistically, he's the most accurate boxer ever. All these things, championships, all this stuff, right? But I couldn't stand him. Why? Because he just talked that shit, bro. Like, he was just that guy. You know what? Because I didn't understand what it took to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't understand, um, you know, that ruling class mentality, Shot the Chronicles, you know, and, and um, betting on yourself, all right? Bro, in order for you to be at the top of the top, bro, you're going to have to have an un bro, unbelievable amount of self-confidence, okay? And people are going to call it arrogant. People want to call you, you know, you braggadocious and conceited and all these different things. But again, man, name a great person that wasn't, all right? Even in uh, Michael Jordan's uh, public public appearances and things like this, people would never know just how much of a just, you know, competitive, like, just, just savage he was, bro, all right? Over, over the littlest of things, right? Because um, uh, uh, that's just how it is, bro. And again, I keep telling you guys, you don't have a competitive nature or whatever as a man, bro. Um, uh, it's like you're missing a, a major element, okay? Competition is, is what makes you better. You know, iron sharpens iron. That's another one of those colloquialisms that said, or uh, used to be said a lot, and, um, uh, you know, makes better men. Uh, you have to have to have someone that can challenge you or a challenge that comes before you in order to um, improve, you know? Um, stress is, is, is necessary in life, okay? Stress is necessary. You have good and bad stressors, but, you know, those those bad stressors is... is, is what pushes you to, to see what you're made of, right? How do you handle adversity and all those different things? But, uh, you know, now that I have that understanding, bro, 
Um, you know, I'm glad uh, that I made the accomplishments I made and, you know, uh, decisions and sacrifices and all those things and, you know, be able to have uh, the fruits of my labor now and to know that, you know, those things are going to uh, multiply uh, further on down the line, being that I made decisions and sacrifices, hard work, dedication, and, um, and uh, you know, intelligent life choices, all those different things, man. And again, bro, with that, it's going to come people that just can't stand you, bro. <laughs> all right? And that's what you know, bro. You're doing something. We're talking positive. Because remember, like I said, man, we, I'm not talking, you know, you hating on the, the, the dope boy. You hating on the, 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 you know, the killer, the robber, whatever. I'm talking about the positive the positive stuff, bro. All right? And, and just this little bit of, you know, uh, you know, micro <laughs> level of, uh, you know, success from just the YouTube thing, man. You'll see people run into you. And it's, I, can't, I don't like that. Man. I can't stand him. That. Whenever I see that, especially coming from a man, bro, it just lets me know, bro, that you're losing in life. You're losing, all right? And again, bro, no one likes losers, all right? <laughs> and if you're winning, bro, people that, that that don't like you for no other reason other than you winning are going to be the proof of that you're on the right track, all right? Even if you take this biblical, right? Like I said, you know, the, 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 world, the road to destru destruction right, is wide, bro. But, you know, that arises is, 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 is very, very narrow. And the knowledge of narrow is lonely. So, um, you know, you reach that path, bro. You put yourself um, in a position to be successful. Um, recognize it, all right? And not only recognize it, man, you know, celebrate it once you reach a milestone. Am I saying you, you waste any of everything that you gain? No, of course not. Uh, you don't make 10,000, 10 bands, let's say, in a month or something, right? Then you throw, a, you know, a $15,000 party. You know after you got your money no not saying anything stupid like that but by all means man it takes some time out to to celebrate you know what i'm saying to to recognize what you have accomplished like i said you know all work and no no play man that 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 ends up being a very very detrimental thing because you know you have all the money in the world and you can't enjoy it what's the point the point of making it right um i know man it's a whole bunch of oh, you, you saying something listen bro hey uh, th at this point in 2021 bro there, there, give me an original idea, okay? This is just me putting my spin on it again. If you don't like it, cut it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, thumbs it down and going about your way. But it's coming from me, the B A B G man. You know what I mean? Yeah, my, my shit a little wrinkled because I was wearing this under my, my hoodie or what I would have you. Um, but yeah, man, for me to come from what I came from, bro, a little poor kid from Macon, Georgia, and uh, you know, getting everything that I got, you know, um, uh, you know, career. Um, I'll be retiring here in, a, in a, uh, you know, um, less than two years at this point. Um, you know, I got you know, a couple of businesses. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. All right. Yeah, bro. I'm, 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 I am actually, bro. I am happy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. You know, be back out here and you know, let the lion out the cage, baby. <laughs> bro, this, this, this is, you know, it's like I'm finally seeing you know, something I never even thought and imagined that I could add, you know. And, and lo and behold, like you said, along the way, man, it's not going to be an easy road travel. It's not supposed to be because, you know, things are easy. You know, you, you're going to crumble up under any type of um, adversity. You know what I'm saying? Any pressure. The pressure bus pipes. You know what I'm saying? All these different things, you know. So, um, again, man, you know, this is just a thing to let you know, bro. You know what I'm saying? When till you offend, dog. I right, all the greatest people have done it. All right, any person that has been great at something, bro, you will see people that just don't like them. I heard somebody say it the other day, man. Hey, yeah, man, I just want to see Canelo lose. You know what I'm saying? That's that 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 lets you know, bro, that you're, you're winning so much. All right, you're winning so much. All right, that people don't like it. They can't stand it. Shout out to um Lavar Ball. You know what I'm saying? Lavar Ball had the the as a father, bro. You know, had the ultimate confidence in his sons to say, well, look, hey, my son is the best thing on the planet. And he literally, like, spoke those things into existence, all right? Because as a man, bro, you know, black man, you know what I'm saying? Um, he bet on his sons to the point of where he said that he spoke to where people couldn't even believe it. They didn't look at it now, you know what I'm saying? Two sons, two, um, two of the three. And, uh, you know, uh, Jello at one point in time was, uh, you know, he had an NBA contract or whatnot, what have you. I don't know if he's on practice squad or MBDL or uh, 
well, not to, but G League now, my bad. I'm, I'm telling, I'm dating myself. But G League, or he's on a roster somewhere. Um, I don't know. But either way, man, you know, just that that unbelievable amount of confidence and belief, bro. It, it'll take you a long, long way. And it's so if you and if you're strong enough, you know, what I'm saying you can pass that down and even um, catapult your, your 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 children, you know, into success, bro. Right. But the, the most important part of it, and most people are not going to understand because most people don't know how to be winners, bro, all right, is to to start by loving yourself and betting on yourself, dog, all right, you know what I mean? So, again, man, win to your fan, bro, and, and and even if you, are you, you going to be the Michael Jordan, are you going to be Floyd Mayweather? No, probably not, but again, bro, look at where you are in comparison to where you were and where you could be. I yeah, look at like I look at the stuff, bro. Like not just black man stuff, bro. Like I'm in the top ten percent of Americans. I right? the land of the free, home of the brave, the, the best place on the planet where everybody want to be. I right? and I'm and I'm in the ten percent. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And that's more not just you know pocket wise or whatever, but you know, hey, <laughs> I'm a pretty smart fella. You know what I'm saying? And the B A B G hell, I'm I'm like what I think two or three percent, six five. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about joining a, um, a NFL practice team somewhere, and I don't even like <laughs> I don't even like football like that but no seriously man you know um, uh, you know stand on top of your health um, uh, healthy habits and, and, and hobbies and all those different things you know working out uh, making uh, smart decisions on your, your diet all those things are important man and like I said when you do those we're taught to take for granted you know the, you know oh you think you're somebody you better know you somebody, bro. All right? Don't think you. Don't just think you somebody. All right? Know that you're going to be somebody. Or know that you are somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, in the black community, that's a huge thing, uh, especially for our black boys. It always happens. Because if you're not that guy, you know, the, the, the popular kid with the shoes and the gear, the clothes, or whatnot, what have you, or, you know, the, the number one athlete and all those different things, bro, you, you're, you're written off a lot of the time. But lo and behold, we come to learn and we talk about here all the time as well, bro. Again, a man appreciates, okay, as he gets older, all right? And a lot of the times, bro, you limit yourself because you listen to everybody else tell you who and what you are are going to be versus believing, you know what I'm saying, what you, who you are and, and what you're going to be. So, all in all, man, again, last time, bro, win till you offend, all right? And that's that on that one. I'll catch y'all on the next one.